After about three years of Kevin Owens being a babyface, pretty much on SmackDown, he's been the one true constant fighting off the bloodline, the OG line. Roman Reigns, Jimmy, and Jey Uso when they were tag team champions. Sami Zayn, his former best friend. He's been a babyface since then. And he's tagged with many other superstars to fend off the bloodline. Namely in the past, Randy Orton and current undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes. Now, that all went to hell at Bad Blood or after Bad Blood. Because Kevin Owens viciously attacked the current WWE Champion backstage after he tagged with the Tribal Chief himself, Roman Reigns. He beat the living crap out of him backstage, left him out. And these past few weeks on SmackDown, he's, he's voiced his discontent. He's targeted Cody, Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton being Cody's mentor has stepped up for the American Nightmare. Has tried defending the American Nightmare in Kevin Owens' eyes. But KO doesn't care anymore. KO does not give one F about what Cody Rhodes is doing. KO is done. It's proven. And the fact of the matter is, most likely, at Survivor Series... Hell, all the way into the Royal Rumble, Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes will end up going at it once again for the WWE Championship. But this time, there's going to be more heat. This time, there's going to be true animosity between both parties. Something that they teased a few months ago when they first started their feud. When Cody Rhodes first gifted Kevin Owens a shot at the WWE Championship. Now, you all know my thoughts on Crown Jewel and these made-up, idiotic Crown Jewel championships where we have World Champion versus WWE Champion on both sides, men and women. Liv Morgan versus Nia Jax remains. Cody Rhodes versus Gunther remains. Both of those matches, especially the men's side, have the potential to be match of the night, match of the year, as a matter of fact. And I am looking forward to watching them go at it. But I would absolutely love, absolutely love if Cody Rhodes focused on KO as soon as possible. Because KO left him laying, left him laid out. He beat the living crap out of him. After all they've been through, Cody Rhodes needs to have Kevin Owens at the top of his priority list. And unfortunately he can't. Because of Crown Jewel. Now I will say this. WWE has. Come up with the perfect buffer. With the perfect intermediate or transition feud. From one to the other. Because Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. They came to blows last week on Smackdown. And if Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes can't quite yet go at it for the WWE Championship, then have KO and RKO go at it one-on-one. -on -one. That's a perfect standby feud. That's a perfect rivalry to set up for what's to come. And a rivalry, a match that Randy Orton absolutely cannot win because we Kevin Owens is the next number one contender for the WWE Championship. And if he is the next number one contender for the WWE Championship, he cannot lose to Randy Orton. This adds layers to the future story, future potential story. Again, there's rumors about a possible triple threat match between Cody, Rock, and Reigns at WrestleMania. If you ask me, if it were up to me, the KO and Cody feud ends at the Royal Rumble. I I don't think I'd have Randy Orton win the Rumble for a third time in his career. I think it's needed. Especially not for this mentor-mentee feud heading into WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. That's something to look forward to.
this adds layers to the upcoming feud. Because right now in October, Randy Orton doesn't see what KO sees, but let's wait a few weeks. Let's see what happens. Let's see what transpires. And let's see if by the time February comes around, Randy Orton sees what KO saw this month. And again, this is a story that Cody Rhodes needs to go as of this moment. And I, I, a lot of fans might disagree with me. A lot of fans think that this is the first time Cody Rhodes has been interesting as WWE Champion since he won at WrestleMania. I disagree. I think he did what he had to do against AJ Styles, against Kevin Owens. I think he's had a tremendous title run. Not to the levels of a Roman Reigns, of course. Definitely not to the levels of a John Cena or Batista back in 05, again, which is reminiscent of what transpired at WrestleMania earlier earlier this year. But he's doing his job. He's getting he's getting shit done. It's a much better championship reign than what Bailey had on the SmackDown side of things, and it's very difficult to balance those two babyface title reigns. So again, in my opinion, perfect buffer feud. I would love if Crown Jewel didn't just stick out like a sore thumb in this entire transition into Survivor Series and Royal Rumble season because we need to get to Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens as soon as possible. Hell, have Kevin Owens take Randy Orton out. Have KO just take him out of commission until the Royal Rumble or until Royal Rumble season. And then, Randy returns, and you can't trust the Viper, he turns on Cody. As simple as that. That's my. Those are my thoughts. I think, in a perfect world, we'd, we'd already be having Cody versus Kevin Owens blood feud for the WWE Championship. That's not happening. Still entertaining. What are your thoughts? Do you think that we should get to Cody versus Kevin as soon as possible? Or, do you like the idea of Kevin Owens and RKO, you know, breaking up? And having this standby transition buffer feud, buffer match in the meantime. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in a comment section below. I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.